Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. We're going to pick up with our cable, pull, cable pulley model. Um, I wanted to take this model and make a exploded view and then go on to show you how to insert that into a drawing and then create your own drawing views and maybe uh, dimension a few things. So this one uh, hopefully will move along uh, fairly quick. So here's our model and uh, one of the things that I mentioned in my um, uh, my demonstration about how to create um, drawing templates or auto templates I should say is you know you pick a front view so uh, I always set um, something that I like and I always make sure it's at, uh, at my front view this is probably my primary view so it's not necessarily um, not necessary outside of um, creating a automatic template but we'll get into that in a second so to begin with I'm just going to come up to my uh, pull down and select animation now right away my storyboard comes up and I guess a couple cautions here is be careful not to move the model if um, if you end up moving the model uh, you're gonna see right away that um, you're gonna get an automatic video so if I end up uh, going back and I play this you're gonna see that it kinda records uh, any movement so I always kinda hesitate um, to move anything uh, before I start so to avoid that you can always take your uh, timeline and move it to this uh, I guess I think they call it the scratch zone so this way you can you can move your model around and it has really no effect um, to the timeline so let's just start with uh, I'm gonna move this out and you can move it to wherever you like I kinda like that I'm gonna take like a four second uh, uh, timeline here so let's just we can we can play with that or you can move it anywhere you like now if I come up here to transform there's a couple things I can do um, I can transform my components which is the typical what I like to do I like to manually drag things around uh, I can auto explode from one level or all levels manually explode you know I, let's just this doesn't have a lot of parts and I don't often find the auto explode work to my satisfaction I guess that's maybe I got some control issues but uh, let's just uh, let's just begin by uh, selecting the transform component and let's go through a couple of real easy things here so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the pin and uh, I'm going to my pin comes up with my manipulator and I can choose any one of the arrows or the center movement pin I'm just gonna drag out to the side and uh, when you choose an arrow it goes directly along that axis so you can drag out to your heart's content or you can actually put uh, a real value in there if you like um, for an explosive view that's not that's not too much of my worry um, now one heads up you know this only works on components uh, it does not work on bodies so that's one little heads up uh, so we have to do an assembly with multiple components in it so that's uh, I guess that's one little thing I should have mentioned earlier so I'm going to um, take this and you know I need room to drag this out so I'm just gonna roll out a little bit yeah, that's fine right there and I'm going to you're gonna see right away it's put a movie in there a movement in for me so I'm gonna select um, this roller and I'm gonna take the center origin part I'm just gonna drag it up there a little bit I'm going to say OK. And I can center and So if I just stop right there, I'm not going to really do anything else. Uh, let's just see what it looks like. I mean, it's I kind of drug it out to about where I want. I'm not worried about too much its movement. Let's just see what we've created. So I can just press the play, play button. And that pretty much is exactly what I'm looking for. So my goal here is not so much to create uh, an automation. It's to get an exploded view. And um, I've done that. Uh, so it doesn't matter if this is one second, two seconds, five, or whatever. Um, it, it works fine. 
some other day maybe I'll go over how to manipulate these um, animations but today I'm more worried about to, I just want to create an animation for a drawing so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say alright well I'm going to save so and I can make this um, I don't know uh, let's just say animation yeah let's uh, try <laughs> animation view so I, that's fine all right so let's um let's get we can go back to the model if you like it's whatever works and i'm going to create a drawing so now there's two ways to create a drawing one is um i'm going to leave a, a shortcut down below i did a video some time ago on creating um smart templates for fusion and what it does it shows you how to step through to create templates where fusion will automatically populate those templates with whatever parts and assemblies you have so um, I'm not going to go through that I mean I think it's a lot faster once you create it but let's just step through creating our own our own drawing so uh, let's just go up to our window and we're going to just say new drawing from design and from here I'm just going to um, I happen to have a um, a template that I use uh, all the time I have some and that's just my synergist drawing template here's the auto template that I created uh, works real nice uh, you can see that in the video but uh, I'm just going to create a synergist drawing template and you're going to see right away things kind of uh, gray out because I've had my template set to ASME inch it's a C size drawing so we're just going to work with that uh, there's uh, other videos how to set up templates. Uh, I believe I've created one some time ago. Um, it's not real hard. So this is just a typical C size drawing. Uh, it's got my title block and things in there. So right away, uh, here's my views. Uh, it sets up now. It comes out to the default front view, like I mentioned. Uh, this is a one to two, which is just too small for what I'm really looking for. Let's try uh, one to one. Uh, even that I don't know if that's that might be that's um, that's maybe we better stay one to two this could be getting too big so let's just place um, I'll place a part here and everything here uh, tangent edges maybe uh, I'm not sure if there's any we'll see let's get the breaks uh, I don't really care for the hid lines too much but um, let's just say okay so here's my first view and I'm going to um, I'm going to come up here and to my drawing views panel and select projected views so I'll select this view and I'm going to drag it up one off to the side the side view and I'm going to drag it out here and make this and I'm going to right click and say OK All right. So you'll see right away that you know it's got my scale in there and uh, here's my starting views so let's uh, if that's too small for you you can always go back in and edit the view and we can say you know one to one or uh, let's try 1.5 you know even that's probably just a little bit better so and we'll say okay I can right click on this view edit view and I can uh, make this a uh, that's, there it is make this a shaded view which uh, it's always nice up in that side so that's um, that's one nice thing so let's go to uh, now I can also uh, bring in a bill of material if I like so I can come up here to the tables and I can select it's asking me to select a drawing view. I think it's already got one already picked out for me. There's only one view, and you can see that uh, I've got a I've got a build material in there. If I want, I can come up here then and further. I can add some balloons in here. I may have to get probably not the best way, but um, just something to match up with our bill of material so I want to add a sheet 
and that is going to be um, we'll just add a just add the plus sign to add another sheet um, so now the next thing I want to add a view and I'm going to come up here and instead of model I'm gonna come up here now I, it knows because I saved the model it knows I have a uh, animation in their storyboard so I can come in you're gonna see it's exactly the way we left it and uh, that looks pretty good to me and I'm just gonna say okay so um, that works nice if it's not exactly what you want for an example I can come in here and say well, you know maybe I should have put um, the tangent edges you're gonna see it added a couple tangent lines on there it looks a little bit better and if you want you can always come back and put in your your model front view also and just say you know I want my 1.5 and I'm gonna take uh, let's see what that looks that's not the one I want um, let's see if this is uh, that's not it either <laughs> that's a little bit better so you know maybe I want this one and I'm gonna make sure it's shaded and everything looks set if I want I don't know that I'll need my tangent edges on that I'll say okay so that's another nice view and you know here's another one that you know I can always put my uh, my build materials in here also and then this one is certainly a lot more ideal for adding my balloons so here's a here's a great way to add your balloons to give a direction for your bill of material so you can see that you know these are easy ways to create drawings so let's uh, let's go on and maybe start creating views for some of our parts and uh, let's create a uh, add another sheet and I'm gonna create a view and um, let's go to our standard let's go to 1.5 I'm going to choose the front view and let's make that full length and we'll say okay now this uh, this isn't too hard with something that only has a few parts but when you get a whole list of parts down here one way that helps a lot is you can uh, let's just say I only want the base I can right click so if I have a whole list here I can suppress all except selected and that helps a lot if I have 10 15 parts here so and all it's going to do is turn off the parts that I don't want and that's how you place individual parts on a sheet all right so I'll come up to my view panel I'm going to select projected views I'll select this view and I'm going to come out place um, top and side and maybe well, if we want to continue to add our perspective and I'll say OK and this one again if I want to be consistent I can come up and make that a shaded view so let's add our views for our parts first all right and we'll I'll take those views we'll come back and maybe work on a little bit of annotation so I'm gonna add another sheet and now I'm gonna add my cable pulley so let's add a part and uh, let's go to stay with our consistent scale I'll place that we'll say okay and uh, since it's the pulley just right click now I can either right click click and say suppress all except or I just need to go in and turn off the ones that I don't want and that's exactly how I want it to look all right so let's uh, take a projected view of this now I only need the side I certainly don't need this view that's not of any value to me and I can come up and place my other perspective view and 
I will right click edit view and shade this one there we go and we'll say close now while we're here uh, I really can't get a lot of good dimensions out of this so I think this one's gonna need another view and that one will be a section view so I'm just gonna select the view I'm gonna zoom in a little bit hover over the center I'll just drag out click and then you can see I have a soft constraint to my origin and I'm just going to right click and say continue and I'm going to drag this up a little bit and that looks like it's um, probably pretty close to what I'm looking for so let's say OK see what it looks like looks good uh, now we may have, you know, I don't need another sheet just for that pin. So let's um, let's add that pin since we're only going to need maybe a small small view for that. Let's add a another view down here. Uh, stay consistent, and I'm going to place. Uh, that looks good. All right, and uh, I want my pin, so I'm going to turn off my other two parts. I'm going to take this and oops I'm sorry wrong one I want my projected view I'll click here and drag it over and say OK alright I think that works uh, pretty good so I've got all my parts at least the views created so let's go in and see how it is to maybe apply uh, a few things uh, some some annotation. So let's go back. Um, I showed you how to do some quick balloons just coming up to my balloon and clicking on. I placed a bill of materials by going to the tables and selecting a view. So let's just go to uh, this part here. Now I can also put a, uh, a bill of material here if I want. So I can just say, you know, okay, there's only one part, so it's going to know what it is, and you're going to see right away that. Now, do you need this? Maybe not, but why not add it? You know, if you if if it's something you want. So, uh, I typically start any time with this as I end up put my <clears throat> center hole marks. So I'm just going to come up here and click on my center mark, and let's just start by clicking. That's better. And I need and that one I think so that's probably it for center marks I want to um, as I mentioned on other things too if I hit my S key I brings up my drilling drawing toolbox so uh, this helps a lot too I can put in um, some things that I use uh, quite a bit so you know, here's my dimension or I can just type in what I want uh, the dimension command is right here so there's a lot of ways to get to it so you just pick a line, uh, pick a, uh, a view that you want to start with. Now I happen to have my dimensions set to uh, inch architectural, and uh, that works fine for me. Uh, I'm going to. You can either pick the side, or I can go from point to point. Since it's a whole line, let's see if I can't just get the side and drag it out. And I'm going to come in from here to there and I'll click there but I don't really want my dimension inside my component so I'm gonna click it and drag it out here somewhere much better so let's uh, and I'll add a radius right there let's see if I can get in there again not what I'm looking for that's what I want so there's an eighth inch radius uh, let's go to the top view I can add uh, some locations now I'm gonna probably put some center lines in here so uh, I'm going to put in 
a center line between two horizontal lines. So it's asking to pick two edges. I want this one and this one to pick my middle center line, and I want one down the middle. So I'll pick this one and this one. If the line is not as long as you like it, you can click it and then grab onto one of the heads to manipulate it. I'll bring that out to there and grab this one and bring it out to there. All right, now I can go on to apply some dimensions. I can apply a whole dimension. And let's just say I want, I'll go from here to the whole position. going to dimension from outside outside hole and from center to that hole. I can uh, maybe start outlining what these um, and this one I should probably have turned off all the radius because that is just giving me too much information. And uh, let's take off um, let's take off some of those. That's good. That way I don't, I don't need to see all of those um, tangent points. So let's uh, add some dimensions here. I want the center slot. And I'm going to make a half dimension so I know how to place that. I want this one and and again we can just start creating dimension and move these around as needed let's see if we can get to seven eighths that's better a little bit better. Alright, so that gives most of the annotation views there. On this view here, I probably only need a few. So I need um, this outside radius. I need the hole size. I will need maybe the width here. Uh, how about Uh, and we're going to need the height maybe of that rib and the height of our hole. All right. So, uh, you know, it, it works real easy. It's not uh, not too hard. Um, the last one, we'll just do a couple dimensions on this. Let's just put a... Um, Maybe over the pulley. And we're going to say general overall. And maybe something out here. Uh, should be here, but I always do the wrong. Just drag it out. Beautiful. All right. On this one, I probably do want to see maybe that center shaft so I can edit the view and say, yeah, I'm going to take that and maybe even tangent edges will say close. Um, that works fine for me. On this one here, I'll probably just take some of the radius marks, uh, the radius dimensions. So. Maybe the outside uh, center of this boss, and we already know what the hole diameter is. And I will probably need a center mark here, so let's take this and take that line and that line to put a center. I'm going to mention what this radius, oops, I'm sorry. Let's get the dimension mark. 
right. And perhaps let's see if I can get a center mark on that. Ah, there we go. And a dimension from that center to here. That's not what I want. Let's try it the other way around. Right at center. There we go. Very nice. So there you have it. I mean, it's uh, it works real easy. Now, if you watch my uh, my video on how to create the smart templates, the advantage there is that it moves so much quicker. I mean, I can uh, you have the smart templates create the views for you, and then all you have to do is go through and maybe. Uh, change a few things like um, position, size, uh, add or delete, maybe add a section view. Uh, it's not real hard. So uh, let's just add a text here. I'm going to put a text note for right there. And I'm just going to say probably like 1 16th inch. by 45 and let's see we can add the degree symbol and say close alright alright well it's already gone uh, probably a little bit longer than I hoped but that's it I mean it's um, watch this one uh, compare it to you know creating all this work by yourself creating the views um, adding the you know dimensions and whatnot and see the time comparison um, and then watch the automated video how to create automatic or smart templates and see if that um, work it out you know create yourself some templates and see if this is a bit of an advantage one way or the other I really do kind of like the automated templates um, hope uh, you understand you know some views with um, the exploded view the animation work real nice in certain instances so uh, just wanted to run through both of those for you uh, the cable uh, pulley uh, how we created the drawing that you used in creating that um, in making that model so that's how we did it uh, not real difficult uh, there's not a whole lot of commands here to learn there's um, different things you might need but everything's here uh, linear dimensions align dimensions angular uh, this is also pretty smart that it, it picks up a lot of those things for you um, text and leaders a couple symbols and then tables and balloons um, if you want this output you're gonna output it it's gonna give you an option for all sheets open you know it's gonna create it in a PDF so well that's this one here will and I can say open a PDF automatically. Uh, your other options are to output to a DWG or output to a CSV file. So there's a couple options there. I typically work with the PDF and then open it. It works real nice. It prints out real well. So give it a try. Um, everything. Let's, well, I'll do it here real quick. And I'll just say open PDF. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll give it. Uh, I do have one here anyway, but let's uh, cable pulley drawing two, I suppose, and we'll say save, and we'll see in a second. Oh, came into the other. This is going to be way too big. There we go. So. There it is. I mean, it's um, it works out pretty nice. You can see the views come out well. They print well. Um, so it prints well. It's crisp, clean, and the colors come up real nice. So uh, the PDF PDF creation works real well for you. So uh, that's it. Um, just wanted to go through this real quick. 
I uh, hope you got something out of it. Give me your comments down below, uh, your suggestions, and um, I'll be back uh, soon with my, maybe just a part model next time, or uh, in the future I want to do something maybe on an intermediate level, uh, creating like a bench vice or something like that. Um, we'll have to break that into a couple videos probably, but uh, that'll be uh, in the near future, a single part and then also another um, multi-component body. All right, so have yourself a great day. Uh, again, this is uh, Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Till later.